What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, I'm going to be comparing one of the greatest bowling balls of all time, the Phase 2, to the all-new Phase 5. So make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you like this jersey or any of the jerseys in any of my videos, coolwick.com. Use my promo code NAPOLIS10. That'll get you 10% off your entire order. And then down below in the description, there's going to be a link where you can order a Phase 2 or a Phase 5 or anything bowling related. It is the best way to help support the channel. All right, so the Phase 2 and the Phase 5 have a ton in common. One really, really big thing that's different that's going to make them roll completely different from one another on the lanes. So let's talk about some of the things that these balls have alike. We'll start with the layout. Um, the layout is the same on both of these being 30 by 4 by 30. Then the cores are exactly the same. The velocity core, 15 pounds, has an RG of 2.48 and a max differential of 0.051. Okay. So now, so the engine is the same. Now let's talk about the covers because the covers and the finishes are, are going to be what's going to make these two balls roll different from one another. The Phase 2 features the TX-16 cover stock that comes out of box at a 3,000 finish, while the Phase 5 features the R2S Pearl cover stock that comes out of box at a Reacta Gloss finish. So these two bowling balls are not going to roll anything like each other. The Phase 2 is definitely going to be earlier, smoother, that more benchmarky type ball reaction. The Phase 5 is going to be way cleaner through the fronts, produce more shape down lane, and be more of a go-to bowling ball. Now, even though these two balls have the same core, I definitely think that this could be a really good one-two punch because they should be pretty similar in the middle part of the lane. It's just down lane where it's going to be the biggest, biggest difference. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys have a Phase 2 or a phase five or which one of these two is your favorite and why for me i've been saying it since i drilled the phase five that it's my second favorite phase behind the phase two so we're going to be here on lane one at samstown on a fresh typical house shot all right first shot of the video here we're going to start in the phase two we're going to start a little bit straighter and then work our way in here Oh, good way to start. All right, so maybe we'll move one left off that. That, that went a little higher than I thought it would. But again, let's just make another good shot here. It's a phase two, folks. All right, that was a much better uh, shot. So we'll use that spot as the benchmark spot. So we're gonna repeat that here one more time. Good start, let's go. All right, first shot here with the phase five. We're gonna go right to that same spot that we were just at with the phase two, and then make an adjustment here accordingly. Wow, that's so much quicker. So I think it looked pretty good from the exact same spot, but the motion was night and day. This was way quicker down lane than the phase two. Yeah, I mean, so far, five shots in, this definitely has potential for a one-two punch here. Oh! All right, so we're gonna go back to the phase two, uh, just go right back to that same spot until the lanes start to transition, and then we'll, we'll chase them in. Oh, I missed in. Push! Yeah, out shot, baby. All right, so obviously I don't want to make a move on a poorly executed shot. So let's execute a good shot and then see if we have to actually make a move or not. That's a good shot. Oh, and it went super light. Let's stay there one more shot. All right, so rewatching that last shot, I definitely missed it at the bottom. So let's make sure that we don't do that. See a good one so that we can make the right decision here. Good shot there. All right, now back in the phase five. I think for sure when I get back into the phase two, I'm going to chase that one left. Let's treat these balls differently and see how they react. Oh. 
Yeah, I don't think I have to move quite yet with the five like I have to with the two. Probably because of the polish, weaker cover. Let's see, I missed that one right, oh yeah. That one at least has a chance. I missed right with the two, it kind of bails. All right, one more shot here, then we'll take it to the desk. Let's make a good one here before our first break. Good shot there. Oh, all right, move in with both. All right, so I don't think, or I rather I know, that you wouldn't be getting a phase five to replace the phase two. The motions are just two completely different. I do, however, think that if you have a phase two and you want something that's gonna be similar, that's gonna be a little bit longer, uh, cleaner through the front, so a little bit quicker down lane, that you can go to after the phase two, I think the phase five is gonna be a very, very good option. So now we're gonna get back on the lanes and chase both of these left because that last shot with the phase two, I thought was pretty good and it went high and that last shot with the phase five, the same thing. I thought it was a really good shot that went super high. So we're just gonna chase both of these left a little bit into the oil. All right, back in the phase two, gonna make a small move, like three boards, three and one left. Just get the ball into a little bit more oil and see how they handle it. Oh, oh, ho, ho, ho. All right, so my move probably should have been a little bit smaller. So let's move like two more to the right off that super flat 10 and make another good shot here. No 10 pin. Oh! Yeah, the, the smoother cover of the face too really wants me to stay a little bit straighter and not give it away as much. Typical benchmark ball here. See, where the phase two is more of a benchmark ball from a little bit straighter, I think the five is gonna really allow me to get left. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do here. Just keep chasing this left, at least to see. That's a pretty good shot there. Yeah, the five just lets me get left. And a shout out to my boy Enrique from back home. If you're watching this video, start bowling again, my brother. All right, same shot here, same spot. Not my best shot, but I'm in the right part of the lane. Yeah, when the lanes transition, they, this phase five is just so nutty. Let's see if we can repeat another really good one here. Mix them up. All right, just for the sake of the comparison, I'll throw one shot with the phase two from where I just threw those three shots with the phase five, and then I'll make an adjustment here accordingly. Oh, that's gonna be pretty good. Maybe we could just stay there and just keep the shapes different. It's the versatility of the face too that just makes it an all-time great bowling ball. Let's repeat a good one here. Missed a little right. Oh, seven, you gotta fall. When I move in on this much friction with the face too, it definitely forces me to be a little bit more accurate. So let's move right, like five boards, and get it more up the lane here and see. Yeah, that's where we're gonna stay with the two. All right, back in the phase five, and then again, just gonna keep chasing this one left pretty much the rest of this video. Oh, 10, you gotta fall. All right, so flat 10, pretty typical move for me here. Two and one to the right. Let it see the friction a little faster. Oh, and strike. Oh, so bad. All right, we're gonna go right to that same spot, but we're gonna post it at the foul line and throw a good shot here. Oh, of course, throw it good and don't strike. Well, that's bowling for you there. Threw an absolutely terrible shot, struck, threw a good one, blasted a nine pin. So now, now we're gonna get back on the lanes. And with the phase two, I'm gonna stay straighter because it looked good. And then I'm just gonna keep chasing that phase five left to really just show you guys how just because the balls have the same core doesn't mean that they're gonna roll the same. The cover stock and the surface is gonna be the biggest factor here. So let's get, like I said, let's get back on the lanes, chase the five left, chase 
the two right. All right, back in the face two, and again, just gonna stay right. That last shot I threw from straight with this ball looked pretty fantastic. Oh, I stuck. Every time I throw it bad, I strike. Let's make a good shot and strike. Yeah, I have so much room from there. All right, Alex, if you're watching, you wanted more phase two videos, well, here you go. This shot right here goes to Mr. Coin Slot. Woo! All right, so we're gonna get even further left now with the phase five and hopefully try to avoid that pesky flat 10. No temp in there. Oh! All right, let's go back to that same spot. Kind of slow down the tempo a little and see if we can't uh, make that be a little bit more flush and not so light. Like there, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be it. All right, last shot of the video here. We're gonna move like another three or four left. And again, just really try to keep that tempo down and have the ball go through the pins. Oh, that, all right, we'll throw one more. That has to fall. All right, last shot of the video here. I'm going to will these pins to strike. No 10 pin, none of that shenanigans. 10 pins straight in the pit. It's not straight in the pit, but we'll take it. All right, so we're all done with today's video. I think the biggest thing that I took away from this is that the phase two and the phase five can be a great one-two punch. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys see that, agree with me, whatever your, whatever your thoughts are, let me know what they are in the comments. Click right here to watch another one of my videos. Click right here to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I appreciate it.